hi everyone welcome to today's legal wednesday i hope everyone is doing well especially with everything that is going on in today's video i'll talk about mistakes people make while buying land in kenya it is no secret that a lot of people have been conned while buying land in kenya statistics show that eight out of ten people buying land in kenya are usually conned let me tell you a bit about myself. I am Ruth Tanui, an advocate of the High Court of Kenya and also the manager and founding partner of Ruth Tanui and Company Advocates. The land buying process in Kenya normally look like an easy task, while in reality it requires extensive research and using the right professionals. In my three series of buying land, in the process of buying land in Kenya, I'll look at beginner's guide to buying land in Kenya, the professionals you need to use while buying land in Kenya and the legal process of buying land in Kenya. But in today's video, we're going to look at 10 mistakes that people make while buying land in Kenya so that you may not fall victim. The first mistake people do is failing to do a land visit of the land that they intend to buy. Let me give you a practical example. Do you normally buy shoes, clothes or food that you haven't seen? Of course not, even though you're doing online shopping, you normally at least buy something that you have set your eyes on. But when it comes to land, people, despite the fact that it's not a cheap commodity, people normally give exceptions and buy land that they have not set their eyes on. That's why you have scenarios where people are, buy land that doesn't ex exist or they buy land that is, is full of rocks and yet they are buying it for the purpose of farming. So doing the land visit may seem a simple thing, but it's very important. At least go and look at the land that you're intending to buy. The second biggest mistake people make is failing to secure the original title deed from the seller from the beginning. This is one of the biggest mistakes people make, especially when they are buying land from people they believe that they know. They go ahead to buy land that they haven't set, when they haven't set their eyes on the original title deed. Remember, it's by getting the, title, the original title deed that you'll know who the original owner of that land is and if there's any encumbrances. Encumbrances are more of loans that have been taken and the, that land has been kept as security for that loan. So ensure that you secure the original the title. third mistake people make is failing to conduct an official search at the land registry. This is also a very important step, but people tend to skip it. I found a lot of clients who tell, who, who tell you that ah, there's no need of doing the search. I know the person who is selling the land to me. But remember, this step is very important because it's the only way you know the original owner and again know if there's any encumbrances to that land. And the search is absolutely free at the land registry and it, take, it will take you around two days. All you need is the copy of the original title deed, the PIN certificate of the seller and the original, ah, the copy of the identification card of the seller. All, those are the only documents you take to the land registry to secure a search, which is absolutely free and will take you about two days. So don't let this step, don't skip this The fourth mistake step. people make is failing to involve the right professionals in the land buying process. The best way to avoid being conned is ensuring that you engage the services of the right professionals. For example, to draft, to, to draft yourself agreement, you can get the services of the advocate of the High Court of Kenya. And to save on the cost, because many people, the excuse of not doing a sale agreement is normally so, the, their reasoning is that it's so expensive. To save on the cost, you and the, bu the buyer and the seller can, can get services from one advocate. That way you can share the cost. Also, to do ground verification and secure the right land maps of the land you intend to buy, you should get the services of a surveyor. The point here is that you should ensure you're engaging, in, you're engaging the right professionals in every step of the land buying process to ensure that you're not conned. The fifth mistake that people normally make is failing to conduct due diligence, do research or consultation. Most people normally hurry the process of buying land, yet it is something that literally can go nowhere. So ensure that when you're going to buy land, you do your due diligence, consultation and research. Because, for instance, for a, if you're buying a leasehold, it normally reverts back to the government within 99 years if the seller or the owner hasn't applied for it. So to avoid buying land that maybe has already reverted back to the government, ensure you first do your research, consultation and due diligence. The sixth mistake that people make is dealing with brokers instead of the actual owners of the land. Many people tend to make the mistake of dealing with a broker instead of, of dealing with the owner of the land. 
so ensure that to avoid being conned ensure that you are dealing with the original owner of the land and the best way to know that is by securing the original title deed or the copy of the title so that at least you make sure the person you're dealing with is the owner of the land because getting conned is normally most people who get conned are the people that use brokers so ensure that you are dealing with the original owner of the land. it doesn't matter the relationship between the owner and the broker just ensure you are dealing with the original owner of the land. The seventh mistake people make is assuming that people from the village or remote areas cannot be cons. Many people have these assumptions that people from the remote areas, especially older people, cannot be cons. So when they are buying land from such people, they fail to do any due diligence or involve any professionals like advocates of the High Court of Kenya or surveyors and go ahead to buy land. And that's how many people get conned. It doesn't matter who you're buying land from. Just ensure you do your due diligence. Even though you're buying land from your own brother or your sister or your friend, just ensure you do your due diligence. The eighth mistake that people make is normally paying the whole purchase price from the beginning. This point might sound confusing, but it's true. Sometimes people pay the whole purchase price from the beginning, which is normally sometimes a big mistake because you end up losing all your money if the person selling the land to you is a con. Under the law, you can pay 10% of the purchase price and then pay the rest within 90 days. However, you, it's normally a matter of an agreement between the buyer and the seller. But to be safe and to avoid being con, it's always advisable to pay your money in installments. So that in case of anything, if anything goes south, you will not have lost all your money. So even though you have the, you already have all the money for the purchase price, and just pay it in installments. The ninth mistake that people make is hiring the land buying process. Most people get con mainly because they were in a hurry to purchase the land. Remember, the land buying process takes time and you must ensure that you do extensive research, consultation and do due diligence in every step of the land buying process to ensure that you are not conned. The mistake people make is failing to secure a spousal consent. Remember, under the law, at the transfer stage, you must secure the land control board consent, which will only be secured if you have a spousal consent. And for a person who is single, you must get an affidavit confirming the same. So ensure this is the among the first things you secure. Remember, during the transfer stage, you might have already paid all the, the whole purchase price or even half of the purchase price. So ensure this is among the first things you, you secure because without it, land will not be transferred to you. I hope this information has been helpful to anyone intending to purchase land. For more information or clarification, feel free to visit us in our website, which is here on the screen. You just click on the contact us button and fill in the free case evaluation form and we'll get back to you. Also, don't forget to follow us on our Instagram page at Law Simplified 2020, where we have Q&A Mondays on legal issues every Monday. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. See you in my next Legal Wednesday where I'll be talking about Beginner's Guide to Buying Land in Kenya.